I'm Tessa Muggeridge, and today we'll be looking at how to create basic data visualizations in Google Docs. We're going to use a really small data set, the 2010 FBI Uniform Crime Statistics for Violent and Property Crimes. With that, we'll make several different Google Charts, which can then be displayed in Google Docs, saved as images, or published as interactives on your own website. It's important that the data be displayed in spreadsheets the way that you would want it to be visualized, like this. The first step in creating your chart is to select the appropriate data. To do that, highlight the cells containing the data you want to show. We'll start with the raw number of crimes across 10 states. Once you've selected the data, click the Insert Chart button. As you can see, this makes Google's Chart Editor pop up, and it suggested several different charts we could make from this data. Click the next tab, Charts, and you can make any selection you want. We're going to try a stepped area chart. Here's the chart Google generated. You can click the Customize tab to add more details. We'll add a title, Violent and Property Crimes in the 10 Most Populous States. You can also adjust where the legend shows up if you want. And let's add a title for the vertical axis, Number of Crimes. Google picked the colors red and blue, but you can customize them to anything you want. When you're finished with all the customizations, hit Insert and the chart will appear in your Google Doc. In the top left corner, Pull down the menu to edit the chart, save it as an image, move it elsewhere in the Google Doc, or publish it. If you hit Publish, Google displays the HTML code for this chart, and you can embed that on your site. You can do this in two ways, as a static image or as an interactive. Let's try another chart. This time, let's look at the rate of each crime per 100,000 residents to get a more accurate state-to-state -state comparison. Because that data isn't in columns adjacent to each other, we have to select it in a different way. Click Insert Chart, and then click the spreadsheet symbol to select the first data range we need at the top of the sheet, the states. Then click Add Another Range and select the two columns that show the rate of the crimes. This time, we'll try a different chart, a bar chart. As you can see, some charts are blocked out because Google couldn't formulate them based on the type of data we have, like a scatter plot, for example. Let's customize this chart to make it more clear. On the Customize tab, we need to add a title. If you wanted to stack the chart, you could do that here. We'll also adjust the legend and change the colors. When you're finished, click Insert, and you have the same options to move, save, or publish the chart. Google has a wide variety of charts that can be generated in Google Docs, depending on what type of data you have. To see them all, check out Google's Charts Gallery here. That's the end of today's tutorial. Thanks for joining me. Look for more videos soon at sunlightfoundation.com.